Imagine a world where twins, bound by blood but divided by destiny, embark on a clandestine mission. A mission not of glory or fame but of vengeance and justice. The twins are silver and knight, born of royal blood, yet destined for an act most treasonous. In the heart of the kingdom of Solstice, the twins' story begins. They were born to the king, a man of power and prestige, but beneath the surface, a tyrant with a heart as cold as the winter winds. The twins however were of different stock, their hearts ablaze with love for their younger sister, their only beacon in the looming shadows of the palace. The king, their father, driven by a prophecy foretelling his downfall at the hands of a female heir, did the unthinkable. He ordered the death of his own flesh and blood, his youngest child, his only daughter. This act of treachery sparked a flame within the twins, a flame that would lead to the downfall of their father the king. Silver, the thinker, and Knight, the warrior, began to plot. They knew they needed a weapon, not one of steel or fire, but something more sinister. They sought the poison trident, a weapon rumored to be so deadly that a scratch could kill a man. A weapon fitting for the king who had betrayed them. Their journey took them through treacherous forests, across raging rivers, and into the heart of the most dangerous mountain ranges. They faced adversity, they faced danger, and they faced their own demons. But they never faltered. They had one goal in mind, to avenge their sister. In the dead of night, under a moonless sky, the twins struck. The king, unsuspecting of his own children's treachery, was defenseless. The poison trident found its mark, and the king fell. His reign of terror ended by the very children he had sired. The deed done, the twins didn't rejoice. Instead, they mourned. They mourned the loss of their sister, they mourned the loss of their father, and they mourned the loss of their innocence. In their quest for justice, they had become the very thing they despised. Killers. They had not only taken their father's life but also the peace and tranquility of their kingdom. Their actions had consequences, consequences that would echo throughout the kingdom for years to come. In the end, they had avenged their sister, they had fulfilled their mission, but at what cost? They had lost their father, they had lost their kingdom and they had lost a part of themselves. The twins, Silver and Knight, would forever be remembered, not as heroes but as the children who had killed their king. Their story serves as a chilling reminder of how the quest for justice can sometimes lead us down a path of destruction.